video comes in three parts. I'm going to say three parts. I only have one plan, so we'll see what I come up with for the other two. We are bringing back Never Have I Ever for this month, I've decided. So, um, though I am the accountant of the group, I'm not sh sure of the math that went into creating the rule for last month, so I'm going to assume it's still 15 fingers. But Brittany can correct me tomorrow if I'm wrong. Um, never have I ever been to the west coast of the United States. There. Never have I ever. Also, we're going to talk about this book. Because I'm almost done with it. I started reading it at camp Memorial Day weekend. And the thing about being at camp for me is that I don't usually have nothing to do. And when I get to camp, I'm like, nothing to do. I just read the entire time. Um, last summer we went and I read all three Twilight books. There were only three out at the time. I, I bought the first one on a Thursday so that I could read it for the weekend. I finished it Friday morning and had to go buy the other two books on my way there. Yeah. Um, but I read um, this book. I also read 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson, which is awesome. Um... It's my favorite one of her books so far. It was great. But this, because I was never a Harry Potter crazy person. Not that that's a bad, not, no, I'm not saying crazy because it's a bad thing. It's a good thing to be a Harry Potter crazy person. Um, but this just, like, this is awesome. And yesterday I went upstairs and the, um, Order of the Phoenix was on. And I just got, like, this warm, happy feeling. It was just like, Ooh, Harry Potter. And it's one of my favorite of the movies. For Harry Potter, I think that is my favorite movie, Order of the Phoenix, just because, I don't know, it gets kind of, I don't know, I think I like, like the director of that one the best, I don't know, I like that one. Um, so yeah, if you haven't read this book, Harry of History, go get it, or borrow it from me, I'll send it to you. Um, saying this like it's my book, this is Deanna's book, this is Wednesday's book. Also, Melissa and Ellie. She has Twitter, um, and she's following me. I was so excited when she sent me a, um, a direct message, because I just recently unprivated my update, and she sent me a thing, and she's like, thanks for following me, can I follow you? So she's following me, and I'm just a fangirl a little bit, just a little bit. Um, if you don't know who she is, she is the, um... Oh, what's the word she uses? Webmistress of the Leaky Cauldron. So if you go to the-leaky-cauldron.org, I think it is, or you can Google it, it will link you there. Good Harry Potter website. Awesome Harry Potter website. Yeah. Um, third thing I'm going to talk about. Mm, I renamed my phone. Um, because... He is turquoise. It's a manly color. Manly, manly color. Um, I decided to name him Turk. With a U. And then for like two days, I was like, why does that name sound so familiar to me? And then I was like, duh, scrubs. Um, also, you need to check this out. If you are not subscribed to the 365 Project, you probably should be. I'm talking to the four of you and the, our viewers. Um, it's this really awesome project project where um, there's a video every single day for an entire year. And I am June 6th, so I'm coming up this weekend. And there are still open spots, so link in the sidebar. I start school again tomorrow, and I've got classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's going to be crazy, and I'm going to be tired, and it's going to be back to normal. See you tomorrow, Brittany.